this time on building the X set or tearing apart the front end. Okay, so originally I wasn't going to do a video on the front end removal since it's pretty similar to the rear end that I've already done a video on. But after I started breaking into it, I realized there are um, a few points that you might need to know or want to have a visual on when you're disassembling uh, with ball joints and so forth because there's a little bit of difference in the front end. Um, I've already removed the steering rack uh, off the front of the subframe. I've removed one side of the car um, and this is the, the second side. So I thought I'd just shoot a quick video to show you guys what's going on here. So basically what you have for um, points of attachment here are upper control arm. There is a long bolt running through here that needs to be cracked. Lower control arm, there's two connection points here. And then uh, the knuckle in the front here, there is a ball joint on top, a ball joint on the bottom. This ball joint, there is a bolt running through the lower part. However, there's also another bolt in the middle underneath the strut mount that needs to be removed. And then this ball joint actually slides out from inside there. Also, a uh, front stabilizer arm here needs to be removed. And then uh, lastly is, I'll turn the camera over here, the engine mounts. Basically this bracket that actually bolts onto the engine, uh, there is a nut inside here to remove and then you will go from underneath the subframe to loosen the other nut that will allow the uh, mount to come out. So this bracket separates first, then the mount can come out or you can do it the other way around, take them both out, then remove the mount. So let's get to it. Okay, so removal is finished. When you're done, you should have a, if you have a nasty, greasy, oily, leaking donor like I did, you'll have a whole mess on your garage floor to clean up, as well as cleaning up grease off all your tools for about the next two hours. But uh, this is what you should have, minus a couple more control arms that I'm out uh, burning the bushings out. There are only two bushings in each control arm because on the other ends of these control arms, that's really the, the only major difference from the front is there's there's ball joints at the knuckle instead of bushings because of the steering. So um, that's it. Pretty easy. I just wanted to give you a quick video. Nothing, nothing crazy or too detailed. If you did the rear end, you should have zero trouble doing the front end. Uh, pretty simple process. So um, 
getting all these together, getting the bushings out, and then uh, off to the sandblaster and the powder coater.